We are getting better as we get older, and so that means our makeup should too. And the best application techniques are not about hiding your age, but knowing how to showcase our favorite features. And joining us with more on makeup tips for mature skin is makeup artist Nikki Strachan. Welcome back to your morning. Hello. Always good to have you here. Everything I know, I know from you. All the good stuff, anyway, oh, I know gosh. from you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy that you're gonna share this with everybody. Let's start with our base, the concealer and the powder routine, the type of makeup that worked for us you know, back in the day, may not work so well for us now. Exactly, so when we're lacking that dullness and we want that brightness that mm -hmm. we we do kind of lose, we lose that youthful glow. Uh, we want to find a base, a system, a triplet system is what I'd like to say, uh, with components that you read, uh, you know, lifting, radiant. Uh, this is an amazing Shiseido product, radiant uh, skin lifting foundation matched with a concealer and a loose powder. And as you can see here on my model, you feather it out, it's very, very, like almost less is more Anne Marie. Okay. Uh, you're gonna get this brightness. You're going to um, add this more of a glow. Uh, again, like I said, less is more. You're gonna match it with a beautiful radiant loose powder rather than a pressed powder. Why? Uh, because sometimes pressed powders, uh, they, they, it settles in our lines, yeah. uh, our fine lines, uh, and we want to we want to avoid that right. because otherwise we're just going to look a little bit more cakey, a little bit more dry. So finding again, looking for those key words, lifting, radiant, luminous, um, all of those things as we get older in our base products is, is sort of what we want to gain. Do you have a before and after? So I can do. See? Can we see the before and see. after? It's amazing. So this is a before on our lovely, beautiful Anne. And then after I, I think finish she looks great her now. face, oh, and she does, that looks but great. it's just bright and seamless. And again, like I always stress, less is more. We want to showcase our gorgeous skin. Yes. Uh, and just uh, give that. She looks beautiful. polished. Exactly. Like really polished and beautiful and totally. elegant. Uh, yeah. Talk to me about the eye makeup, because what do you hear from your client? Listen. What worked for us in the eyeliner 20 years earlier is not gonna work for us now. Well, I mean, and, and this is a thing, like I wanna I kick this myth to the curb um, about sparkle and shimmer. Okay. Uh, uh, so many clients that I talk to are like, we can't wear shimmer, we can't wear any kind of like shine or sparkle because I'm 65 or I'm 57. And I want to, again, kick that myth to the curb. You've got some glitter it's going on really here. really about placement. You don't have to do the entire lid. You don't have to do underneath. It's it's not, it's just about the application process and the placement. So as you can this see here beautiful. on my lovely Maria, I'm placing it just in the corner of her eyes. Oh, Nikki, that's beautiful. And makeup. the elf, uh, the, this elf beautiful shadow is uh, the application wand is so easy, accessible, just to go right into, can yes. You can put it on your hand and see how it glides oh, right yeah. on. And just putting it in the corner, like just that's all you need. Even just a pop underneath is gorgeous. That looks great. So again, placement. Placement is, is sort okay. of what's important. Let's see the before and after. She's stunning, first of all. Can right? we just say that? I know, she's beautiful. She's really beautiful. Love her. Here's a before. She's looking around for the after, so are we. <laughs> I want to see it look like when it was finished because it sure looked gorgeous. Wow, Nikki, right. placement. Just placement, the inner corner. Again, like I said, even just underneath is just sort of like, you just need a pop. You don't need it to overtake. But again, you can rock sparkle. You can rock shimmer. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, in our last minute, what should we do about lipstick? Okay, so lips, I, I often hear, uh, I can't find a product for my lips that don't bleed, mm -hmm. that don't, you know, again, as we age, our lips kind of go like boop, and yeah. then we <laughs> have a little bit of like more fine lines around our lips. So finding a product that really, uh, you know, prevents that bleeding. So I have a Claude de Peau amazing lip liner. Hey, I'm is that Mary Berg's mom? And I'm applying it on beautiful Mary. Berg's mom, Myra. And yeah, you just go in, you can add a little bit of balm, but really kind of using a gorgeous long wear lip liner and creating that Love as your it. long wear lip. Because oftentimes we find sometimes lip liners or lip lipsticks can be creamy and yeah. really slippery and they just this, Yeah, and know, they, they soup into everything. Right. Let's show everybody the before and after. Okay, so here's the before, here's Myra before. Good old Myra. Also beautiful. I Love, love her. her laugh, love her smile. Look at that. Right, so just a nice, fresh. You can still wear the bold lip. Exactly. Use the right product. Exactly. Nikki, this is all very helpful information. Great to have you back here. Thank you so much. And stay Anytime. with us your morning. We'll be right back. This was really nice. 
thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.